Hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I am getting into, I'm going to try to help you with your technology uh, with a 32 inch television to connect to a Bose 123 system by a digital fiber optic cable or a analog uh, cable as well. But the problem is you can only use one. But the television I have does not have analog out. It only has digital out. And luckily the Bose unit has both. And this is very easy to connect your unit, your Bose unit, to the television or the television to the Bose unit if you want to able to have sound and listen to good movies and also TV shows off of your 32 inch television. Now, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of how it all works and how, how it all sets up, but let's go ahead and show you my setup on my type of TV. Maybe it can help you decide on how you want to connect it. All right, let's turn the camera on and show you what I mean. All right, for all you uh, YouTubers who know tech, it's very, very simple to connect a television to a Bose unit, but not everybody knows technology, everybody knows how to use it. But this is my 32 inch television, if you want to know. It's kind of slanted this way for a couple reasons. For we can look at the actual back of my television itself and what the different connections of everything really is. If you're wondering, this is my PAL input to the television. Here we have some own cables down below here. This is the fiber optic uh, cable. This is the digital cable. It sends a red beam down uh, this little uh, wire. It's not really a wire, it's actually fiber optic. It no longer has analog. It does have analog in, but not analog out for audio. If you can see, I have a red, blue, and green. This is a component uh, cable, video cable. This is HDMI. I have HDMI 2, HDMI 3, this is a VGA, this is for your old analog connection, and we have a USB as well on that side as well. But where does this kind of lead to? Alright, we have video for my Bose unit, and this wire here connects to this system here. Now, this is a analog wire right here. This is your white and red connections for your analog signal audio. Well, let's go ahead and turn this unit around. Of course, we gotta put the antenna up though, because that's connected as well. Look on the back of my Bose unit, and I'm gonna show you how things somewhat leads and connects to. You can see this is the main wire here to connect to the base system. This is the main head unit. And this is my video out. And we have some audio in as well. This does not have any type of uh, audio output, but does have a bunch of audio inputs for all sorts of different connections. We have S video in and out, and also composite video as well. But, this is kind of cool, on here, you know, we have this auxiliary clay jack for audio in as well, uh, satellite and cable, TV as well. This is where you would connect your television with those red and white audio cables if you have the analog signal as well. But right down here with my television, if you can see, this is that little wire or fiber optic cable. This plugs directly into the Bose unit from my television. This sends a red beam to this and it produces sound for this machine as well for I can listen to my audio on this machine as well. 
let's get a little closer look on how this all sets up here, okay? If you want to know how everything works, let me move that antenna out of the way. Let me uh, grab the audio here, this old uh, analog audio. Alright, so you have a TV, right? Okay, here you have that, eh? right? And white. You plug these all the way in, and then you plug these two into your television. But with my television, it does not have the analog at all. It has the exact same thing. This is the type of cable you need for your system to be able to work. You can see a fiber optic cable. And that's how I get sound from my TV directly to this BIOS unit itself. Now, the one thing is, if you're going to be using a sound system like this, an entertainment system like this unit here, okay, you got to make sure you do not have the speakers turned on volume on on your television you have to make sure it's actual off all right now this is a somewhat of a look of how my unit's set up but all right if you are brand new to this channel please hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below please like please show peace out bye guys we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching have a nice day